What's up guys? Traveling to Novi Uruguay tonight. It's 10 p.m. Wednesday night. About to walk to the bus to go to the airport. Let's go. Wow, it is snowing. Not that fun. Look at all that snow. Anyway guys, so every weekend when I travel to my home games, I actually fly three and a half hours up into Yamal region of Russia to a city called Novi Uruguay. So I live south of Moscow, travel up to Moscow to fly, and then fly three and a half hours to Novi Uruguay to play our games. The team is based out of the city, but they don't want us living there for whatever reason, so we have to travel every single weekend. For a little American reference, it's like living in Los Angeles, minus the snow, and traveling to Chicago every week for a game. What's your name? My name is Timofey. Where are you from? I'm from Croatia. And have we played together before? Yes, in Berlin. And year. was it really fun? We do know. <laughs> Bye. Dima, are you ready for the flight? Yes, bra. Are you gonna sleep? No, I'm on fire. Alright guys, we are on board from Moscow to Novi Uruguay. Three and a half hours. It's 2 a.m. I'm so tired. My eyes are so red. The weird thing about this flight is always full. I don't understand. Anyway, see you in a couple of hours. stay for all our home games here in Novi Uringoy. It is 8.30. We have our own rooms because of COVID, which is actually nice. I think I sub like an hour on the flight. I'm not even sure anymore, but yeah, we're in Novi Uringoy now. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and then hopefully take a long, long nap. I know you guys can't see anything, but it is 9.30 and it is bedtime. Good night. It's 2.15. I just woke up from my nap. This is the view from my hotel room. So I just finished lunch and I have a couple of minutes before I have to go to video. So I wanted to answer a couple of questions that I see on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter pretty frequently. The first is, why do USA national team members go overseas to Europe or Asia or South America to play volleyball? And the simple answer is we don't have a professional league in America, a men's professional league. So in order to make money, improve our skill, play against great competition, we have to go overseas to play volleyball. And there are leagues all around the world, like I said, all around Asia, Europe, and South America. So you never know where you're gonna end up. And 
for the last three years I have played in Russia. And another question I get is, what's kind of the timing of national team and professional season? So the summers are primarily for the national team, maybe May through September or October, depending on the year and what tournament there is. And directly from there, maybe we get a week or two off. We go overseas to our professional programs, our professional teams, and play a season maybe from October to early May. So it kind of varies, but Think of it as the summers for the national teams and the winters when it's freezing in Russia or Europe is for the professional clubs. So it's a lot of volleyball, definitely year round. So another question I get fairly often is how is it playing with other members of other national teams from other countries? And that's a great question because like I said, after the national team season, we all split up and go to our professional clubs and that's not different for other national team members. So. I play with Dmitry Volkov, who is the starting outside for Russia right now, and I know players like Jeff Jendrick, Dave Smith, Micah Christensen, Taylor Sander, Max Holt, Aaron Russell. So many of our guys play with other members of other national team members, and all I can say is that, I don't know, it's normal, it's fun, it's exciting, it's kind of like a friendly rivalry. I know after World Champs, when we had beaten Russia twice, I gave Volkov a hard time, and I know after they beat us in the VNL Finals in 2019. He gave me a hard time, so it's a friendly rivalry, but these guys are teammates now, they're friends. It's awesome to be a part of these teams and experiencing life overseas, so it's fun, and you have a friendly rivalry when you play against them in the national team, hopefully. Oh, so the last question I get a lot is why I chose to play in Russia. Well, as a professional volleyball player, you have an agent, and the job of your agent is to look around the volleyball market and talk with teams and see maybe if they need a certain player or a foreigner or a libero in my case and if they're interested and think you're good enough or you fit the role or you could fit on that team in the future hopefully they will offer you a contract and when you're considering different contracts around europe or in the volleyball world you have to look at the salary the country you're playing in, the competition, the team you're on, the city you're gonna play in, if you have friends on the team, if the team has a good reputation, all of those different things go into making your decision. And at the end of the day, my contract here with Fakel Novi Uyengoy, the team I play for here in Russia, was the best option for me. So I signed with this team three years ago, three one-year contracts, but I've been lucky enough to be here for three years. And I'm here because it was the best option and I'm glad I made that decision. So we are done with video. It is 4.40 in the afternoon. Actually surprised there's still light out. And we are heading to practice.
All right, we just finished our hour and a half practice. Yes. Dima. Hello, followers. Uh, How? Eric Shodri. <laughs> How I'm Dmitry it? Volkov, <laughs> professional volleyball player in Russian national team. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> How was practice? Practice so good. Sorry for my English. Peace, brothers. <laughs> So we just got back to the hotel. It's 7.52, I'm about to head down to dinner, but typically on travel day like this or the day before a game, we practice around 90 minutes, you know, good warm up, a little bit of serve and pass and a little bit of six on six getting ready for tomorrow's match. But for now, I am hungry, so let's go to dinner. Zuri, Your followers uh, know what uh, your name in Russia, Zulik. All right, guys, my day is coming to an end here soon. It is almost 9.30. I'm currently out in the Norma Tech trying to recover for tomorrow's game. I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix, maybe read some of my book, and hopefully sleep for a very long time. But anyway, thanks for following along. Wish us luck for tomorrow's game, even though you're gonna be seeing this after the game. It doesn't matter, and I will see you all soon. Peace.